Mental health is an issue that must always be taken seriously and never dismissed. Here's a story about how the sudden loss of both parents turned a six-week-old into an instant orphan. Clayton Osteen was a 24-year-old who had served in the United States Marine Corps and was also a member of a SWAT team. He was a dedicated military man who diligently served his country and excelled in his duties. Clayton's career was on an upward trajectory until he unexpectedly decided to take a different path that surprised many. He left the Corps and joined another branch of the security forces because he wanted to become a sheriff. His closest friends say that Clayton joined the local law enforcement agency because he wanted to work with civilians, and he excelled there as well. In November 2019, he became a member of the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office. Clayton was well-liked and respected by his peers, proving to be a valuable asset to the force. A year after he joined, he won awards for his efforts. Clayton was awarded Deputy of the Quarter for December 2020 and also the Overall Deputy of the Year for 2020 by his esteemed department. Isn't that impressive? Sheriff Ken Mascara said Clayton was one of their best officers. His experience as a Marine was invaluable and he was a shining light for them, but he was not just a good police officer. He was also a fine man, humble, honest, and respected by everyone. This was why everyone loved him. Things were going well, and then it got even better when he found the love of his life. Victoria Pacheco joined the force in February 2020, about a year after Clayton did. Many describe her as energetic, genuine, honest, and a kick-ass person who had a passion for serving in law enforcement. Before becoming a law enforcement officer, she attended Indian River State College and graduated from South Fork High School in 2016. For these two deputy sheriffs, it was love at first sight. A few weeks after they met, the pair started dating. They were the perfect match because it's not every day you meet someone who shares the same hobby and wants to achieve success in the same field. I think the story of Clayton and Victoria is a case of when you meet the right person, you just know. You don't delay because you might never meet that kind of person again, so you just go for it. And that's exactly what the deputy of the year 2020 did. Months after they started dating, he went down on one knee and proposed. Of course, she said yes. The duo got married in an intimate ceremony that included just their family and a couple of friends from the office. Victoria's grandmother, Bernice Bartolini, described the story as a fairy tale. She described Clayton and her granddaughter as the modern-day Romeo and Juliet. They were the perfect couple and had a bright future ahead of them. The young couple was also eager to have kids of their own. Thankfully, they had no fertility problems and didn't have to wait long before Victoria became pregnant. Bernice said, they would be the best parents a child could have. I am sure of it. I love them both because Clayton is an intelligent and well-behaved boy. After 12 weeks of gestation, Victoria went for her first ultrasound scan. The scan results showed that the deputy sheriff was carrying a boy. The couple was excited and the doctor told them their baby was in perfect condition. Clayton had always hoped that his son would be born before December so that they could all enjoy their first Christmas as a family, and that's exactly what happened. In November 2021, Victoria went into labor. Her husband was on duty, but he was able to make it home in time to rush to the hospital. She had no problems during delivery, and with the help of the medical team, Jace was born. Clayton and his wife were very happy. This was a dream come true, and he had the family he hoped for. A few days later, the new mother and her little boy were discharged from the hospital. However, after enjoying Christmas together on the last day of the year, something no one saw coming happened. According to a press release by Sheriff Mascara, the deputies responded to a 911 call just before midnight on New Year's Eve. What they didn't expect was that this call was made by someone they all knew. Victoria had to make the call after her husband had tried to take his own life. Clayton was off duty when this incident occurred. Everyone at the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office was stunned when they found out that it was their fellow officer who attempted to kill himself. Thankfully, the father of one was still alive. He was rushed to the nearest hospital, and doctors placed him on a life support machine to keep him alive. Everyone in their neighborhood was surprised when they heard what had happened. 
Many people in Lucy County believed Clayton had a perfect life. He and his wife were not only ambitious, but their careers were also progressing rapidly, and he was thrilled to be a father. On January 2nd, two days after the incident, he had not improved. His family took him off life support, and Clayton passed on to greater glory. His wife, Victoria, was inconsolable. She loved him so much, and it was very hard for her to imagine a life without him. Two days after her husband died, this female cop ended her life as well. While it is very sad that Jace is now an orphan, something remarkable happened, and he is now going to get all the support he needs to help him live a comfortable life. While mourning her granddaughter, Bernice said, My heart is so sad. I thought I was hurting before I lost my beautiful granddaughter. It's a tragic Romeo and Juliet story. They are now together forever. Victoria and I were very close when I lived in Florida. She was there for me, and I wish I could have been there for her. I'm so proud of my granddaughter for the short time she was here. She was a wonderful person. Vicky was very good at her job, and she was a good mother. No one understands why this happened. She made a big difference, and I'm missing her so much. But the most important thing to all of us now is Chase. Sheriff Mascara also had good things to say about the couple. As sheriff, I saw these two deputies as young, ambitious, and a great compliment to my already amazing group of professionals, to the general public, and sometimes even myself. It's easy to view law enforcement as superhuman, but let's not forget that they're human just like us. Law enforcement officers deal with not only the day-to-day -day stress we all face, but also the stress of those whom they serve in our community, which can sometimes be very challenging. Clayton was super funny, driven, and an outstanding young man. The couple will not be forgotten by any of us, not just because of how well they served the country, but because of the people they were. Remember when I mentioned something remarkable happening for the little boy amidst all this? Well, friends of the family established a GoFundMe page for him. The page stated, tragically, for reasons completely unknown and entirely out of character, Clayton took his own life on December 31, 2021. Reeling from the shock of her loss, Victoria took her own life two days later. Now, baby Jace needs the support of the community and the nation to help provide for him moving forward. The family has called on the community to assist in collecting basic items for baby Jace, including diapers, wipes, formula, and gift cards. And guess what? Jace already has over a year's supply of baby formula, but the overwhelming support doesn't stop there. The fundraising page aimed to raise $10,000, but it has now surpassed $120,000. Isn't that incredible? Jace will have all the financial support he needs. His parents have been posthumously honored with the best deputy awards for their dedicated service and commendable actions. They were laid to rest side by side in American flag-covered caskets at a solemn funeral attended by family, friends, and dozens of fellow officers from the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office in Florida who saluted their coffins as they passed by. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.